This question is almost identical to the previous question. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that you've already watched that. If you haven't, maybe you should just go watch that quickly. But all that they change is they say determine the total amount John will earn over 10 months. So they're not saying how much is he going to earn in month 10. They want to know how much will he earn all together during the first 10 months. So that's like term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 plus all the way up to term 10. This is why we use the sum formula that does that for us. We saw in question 38 that it's a geometric sequence with a ratio of 1.05. So we use the sum formula now because we're trying to find the total over 10 months. And so that's just going to give us A, which is the first term, which is 4,000. We said the ratio from question 38 was 1.05 over 10 months and then minus 1. And so in 10 months, John is going to earn a total of 50,311 Rand and 57 cents. I mean, this makes sense. Think about it. He earns 4,000 Rand in his first month and then a little bit more in month 10. So if he only earned 4,000 Rand every month, then 4,000 times by 10, he would have earned 40,000. But because they're giving him a slight increase, he's able to get his money up to about 50,000.